guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a brand new nail polish launch and it is by Essie. This is the Essie Gel Couture line and it's supposed to last up to 14 days. So if you wanna see my thoughts on this brand new launch, then just keep watching. this is going to be an Essie Gel Couture review, but I did want to first mention the giveaway that I posted a couple weeks ago. It is now closed, but I am just blown away by how many people had entered it, how many people were commenting and talking to me on that video. I just really loved it. I love being able to really interact with y'all and talk makeup. It's just so much fun for me. And be sure to comment in future videos. If you feel like you have something that you don't really think is worth saying, say it anyway. I love commenting back and talking makeup with you. So definitely be sure to comment because I really, really like to interact with y'all. But um, I, I also was really blown away by how many subscribers I got. I had more subscribers than entries for this giveaway, and it was just really surprising. I've grown a ton since posting that video. So thank you so much for everyone who is new. I hope you will enjoy my channel. And um, yeah, this is just crazy for me. There is a winner. I have picked a winner. I used a randomizer. It was completely random. Um, her name is Camille. And so congratulations, Camille, on winning the palette. It is already in the mail and it should be arriving in a few days. And I am just so excited for you to get to use the palette and interact with it. Like, see how you like it. I have been loving mine. I've been wearing it pretty much nonstop since I got it. So congratulations on winning the palette. And let's just jump right into the review. One more thing before we go into the review, I did realize that Ulta is now restocking in stores the Mega Pro 3 palette. So if you're wanting it for Christmas or you're bummed you didn't want it in the giveaway and you were wanting to get one, it is now available more so in stores. I've seen like over 10 in a couple different Ultas. So um, be sure to check your local Ulta. They may have restocked since the last time you were there if you're wanting one of those palettes. So now let's actually get back into the review. So I have tried a ton of these nail polish gel kits in the past. I actually use a real gel kit that uses an LED light by, um, I think it's Red Carpet Hollywood or something like that. They sell at Ulta. They have a huge display. It's their only um, gel light with a lamp line that they have at Ulta, so it's pretty easy to find. But I've tried a lot of these nail polish ones that aren't actually with a light. I've tried the Revlon one. I've tried Sally Hansen. I'm sure I've tried, oh, I tried the one by Essence that I've heard good things about, and that one did nothing for me. Really, all of them, by the next day, I was having chips. So I haven't tried the OPI one because I just never heard much about it. And then I saw this Essie one about a month ago in my Target, and I really kind of looked at the colors. Nothing really spoke to me. I didn't think it was anything that special, and so I didn't pick it up. And then since then, I've seen at least three reviews of people saying that they last probably up to like seven days on them, that they are really, really good at being chip resistant, and that they work almost as good as a gel manicure, and they look really good like a gel manicure and are very shiny as well. So I decided to pick it up. I got the shade Gallivanting, and then I also got the shade Touch Up, and then of course you have to get um, the top coat. I know some people have used it without the top coat and it doesn't work, so you definitely need to have both parts of the system for it to work how they claim for it to work. Um, so for me, anytime I do my nails with just regular OPI nail polish or just really any nail polish, I usually go in with Set Chevite or Out the Door Top Coat, and that'll normally last maybe two days for me. Um, if I have nail polish on my nails, it pretty much is chipping by the next day or even the same day, I'll have pretty bad chips. And I usually take it off once the chips are so bad that I don't want to wear it anymore. Um, so that's normally about two or three days of wear. This nail polish I wore touch up for about four or five days, I think. And it had like one chip and I decided to switch it out just because I wanted to change up the color. I really put the shade Gallivanting to the test. This one I put on my nails last Friday night. So it is, been, it is now Tuesday, so that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So that's five days for me. And I've washed my hair, I think twice. I have done dishes multiple times. I did laundry. Um, I opened packages. I pretty much did everything that usually will make my nails chip. I didn't try to like not chip my nails. I just kind of went around my daily business just how I normally would. So this is what my nails look like now. And as you can see, there is a chip on both my pointer fingers and on my um, thumb because of course those are the nails that you use most and that's just not that bad for me. Um, usually I would just, if like the rest of my manicure looked this good, I would just remove the nail polish on those fingers or at least the ones that are the worst and put a new coat and then just kind of let those be started over. You can also see there's a little bit of wear on the tips of each finger, but to me I could still wear this for a couple more days and it not really phase me. Like the chips that are on here are not that noticeable. 
And for me, this is usually what my nails look like maybe on the second day. So I am super duper excited about how well this has worked for me and I just wanted to talk to y'all about how good I think this nail polish is. Now I will address a few pros and cons of this product. One con is that it claims that it worked last for 14 days. I do not believe that at all. Even when I bought it, I did not believe that. Um, I don't think anything lasts 14 days other than an actual gel or acrylic manicure because of the way they are actually put on your nails. A nail polish, pretty much what happens is when your nails are wet, they weaken, the nail polish does not, and so of course you're gonna have chipping because it almost kind of separates from your nail. Um, that doesn't happen when you have gel. Gel really doesn't chip, it just kind of grows out and you replace it. For me, gel, at least the kit that I use, it'll last for about a week, week and a half because um, I will have issues with it kind of lifting on the sides of my fingers and coming off. But as far as a nail polish, this is definitely the longest lasting for me, but again, it does not last 14 days. For people who have stronger nails than me, it'll probably last a full week or more. Um, like I said, I've had mine on for five days and I think I could go a couple more days, but I think it could look well, like really good on some other people for a full week or more versus me. I'm just kind of like letting it kind of chip off a little bit for these last few days, but I still think it's wearable and it doesn't look too like grungy or gross on my fingers because it just isn't chipping that badly nail polishes from this range. I've worn it two of them. One of them I just recently picked up after picking up the first two and seeing how well they did. Um, so the first one is Gallivanting and that is what is on my nails right now. It is a really pretty, they have lots of these kind of dark ready purple type of shades that are really pretty for fall. This one I like because it's almost like a raspberry. It's like a muted deep raspberry. So it just has a really um, nice. It's not super duper red, but it's not super purple. I just think it has a really pretty undertone to it, and I really like this shade. The next shade I got because it was very similar to one of my favorite shades from OPI. It's um, Mod About You is my absolute favorite from OPI. I really like this kind of lilac-y, pinky shades versus just straight pink. And this one is Touch Up, and it's a little bit more muted than OPI, and I just really like these kind of shades for all year. I like them for spring, I like them for fall, I like them for summer. Um, I especially like this kind of color on my toes. So this one, again, is Touch Up. And the last one I have not used at all, and it's a little bit of a different finish. This one is called make the cut and it's a very light gray it's almost white and it has a really pretty pearl finish let's see if you can see it um, in the bottle it's probably one of those that you can see more in the bottle than you'll be able to see on my nails another thing i really like about this product is the brush head this is the one from the top coat and you can see it's just a very wide bristle and it kind of has a rounded shape on the end. It's really good at getting all of your nail in like one or two swipes. It's not one that I felt like I got a lot of nail polish on the sides of my fingernails. I felt like it just was a really good shape to do your nails, especially if you're someone who's not very good at doing your nails. I think this brush shape is really good and really helpful. Um, I also like the shade range. I originally, when I first looked at it, I just, nothing really spoke to me because I was at Target and they only had maybe 12 shades. And then I went to Ulta, that's where I actually purchased all of this and they had all, I think 42 colors is what's in the range. And I really liked a lot of them. There's a lot of pretty ones that I would like for summer and spring and I'm just gonna wait on those until about that time um, just to see if there's any deals, any sales, anything like that and I might get some. But so far I think these three shades are gonna be great for fall and winter and I'm really excited and happy with the ones that I picked out. If you are interested in this product, so far I have found it at Target and I found it at Ulta, but I have not seen it at CVS or Walgreens. Um, that may just be my region has not gotten them. Our CVS and Walgreens usually don't have like the brand spanking new stuff out right away. So it may be that eventually those brands will carry the Gel Couture line, but for now, if you are looking for it in stores, Target and Ulta are where I've had the most success. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed this nail polish review. I know it's a little bit different for my channel, but I really do like nail polish. If you want to see any other nail polish videos, like um, I can show my nail polish collection and how I organize it because I did just redo that and I have a kind of cool system that I use. And then also I can do like a tutorial on how to do a gel um, or shellac, whichever one you want to call it, manicure. So yeah, just give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you want to see more of these kind of nail polish review or nail polish tutorial videos. And that's pretty much everything. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.